Denny's for Vegas has finally opened up his restaurant here at the Circa. But the real question is, how does it compare to Buffet Princess's cooking? It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Yeah, guys, it's a little bit unfortunate. We, here. we are here. Yeah. We lost the video poker, unfortunately, but we are going to Saginaw's. Yeah, we got Kelly. We got Kelly in Vegas Confessions podcast and the Bears all in the house right now. And we got Keto Kid over here. Ninety-nine cent shrimp cocktail. We're gonna get a round of those. All right, guys. So here's an interesting thing: the uh, Saginaw's deal. 99 cent ship cocktail that is whip purchase of a meal um, but you know it is three o'clock in the morning and we are starving right now so we are definitely going to be purchasing a meal it's, I think it's like a 45 minute wait right now so we'll probably be kicking it here for a hot minute All right, Smithers and Sharks here. We are once again at the Circa Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. We're getting ready to try out Saginaw's, the new delicatessen here in Circa. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see if it's any good. Okay, here we are at Saginaw's here at the Circa. So this is their new delicatessen. It is open late, 24-7, and if you're looking for the... 99 cent shrimp cocktails, this is actually the spot to go to. They're only available from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. and that's only with the purchase of an entree. But if you are interested in it, this is definitely the spot to go to. But yeah, let's go ahead and get inside and let's eat. Okay. Then you have their potato salad and the coleslaw and they're all their custom made sides and desserts too. And you also get a little preview of the menu. I think my target is the number 11, the Ben's big idea there. Also kind of thinking about the pastrami on rye over there too, that looks good. And apparently the, uh, the chips or the crisps, if you're from across the pond over there, are all made fresh in house too, so we're expecting higher quality from those. Oh, and they got some uh, Founders and Big Dogs uh, brewing over here. Got to do that big, big Dogs over there. I think that one actually is brewed locally in Vegas, and it definitely kicks the crap out of Bud Light. I'm sorry, Sin, but it does. All right, guys, and we got our number over here. Ready to go ahead and find a spot to go sit down and, uh, and eat, finally. So, yeah, let's get it. Oh, here it is. All right, so we got the waters. Thanks, sir. Got the shrimp cocktail right on. Appreciate it, boss. All right, so we're going to enjoy the shrimp cocktail. And also, while we're here, my main man, Jacob Orth, actually made it. Good to see you, boss. I did, I did. Good to see you, man. Yeah, sneaking in here. So we figured we'd go ahead and have a little bit of dinner. Um, unfortunately, Kino Kid and I didn't get to do the 99-cent version because it was a 45-minute wait when we tried it opening night. So we were like, nah, we'll probably just mob to Pizza Rock or something like that. Or we'll go back to the hotel, we'll pass out, and we'll get some food. So that worked out there, but now we actually get to try the uh, shrimp cocktail here. So hang on for just a minute. Okay, guys, we're going to try the cocktail now, the $11 cocktail. Uh, that's pretty good, pretty standard. I guess there's only so much you can do with raw shrimp, but the sauce is pretty good. It's got a nice amount of spice to it, kind of a rich radishy cocktail sauce to it. Uh, you also get the giant lemon wedge over here. Probably got to splash a little lemon on that and make it good. Obviously not good for somebody that has a cocktail or cocktail allergy, a shrimp allergy, seafood allergy, which I didn't even ask Jacob about. Jacob, you don't have a seafood allergy, do you? Okay, I apologize for that. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, we're having a bite of that now. Enjoying the $11 shrimp cocktail. Definitely. That's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's $11 good. Um, I'll definitely give it a hard four out of five over here. Um, I mean, what can you really do with the shrimp cocktail? The sauce is good. But, I mean, the shrimp aren't the most spectacular I've ever had. There's generally pretty fresh seafood here in Vegas, I've noticed, because they'll, they'll fly it in or whatever. But, you know, not so much you can do with it. But, yeah, four out of five, not too bad, especially for rolling into a, a deli in a downtown casino. All right, guys, dinner is served. We got the big dog brewing over here too. No relation to Lucky Dog. And then we also do have our Big Ben combo. So that's that brisket. So the barbecue uh, aioli sauce in there. And then they have two different types of pickles. The new pickle, which is supposed to be crispier and more sour, yeah, apparently. And then you got the more classic style dill pickle, I think, with yours. But more importantly, you got the pastrami yeah. on rye, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at that, and that's great. So, Jacob was thinking classic, he was thinking smart. 
So, good stuff there. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and dig in and see how this stuff is. All right, so one bite, try the crisps first. And I expected those to be a little fluffier. I'm not sure why, I just kind of expect them to be a little fluffier if they're house made. I think they fried them a little too long. Not too bad, three out of five. I'd eat them, I'd eat them again, definitely. I wouldn't go out on my way for them. But that's not the important part. The important part, risk it. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Dig in, man. That's some tender brisket over here. I'll tell you what. The brisket's on point. Yeah, that is some good stuff. Bun is uh, nice and uh, it's soft, but it's still got a toasty sort of set to it, so it's that perfect balance, buttery. It was sauce is all right too. I think uh, I think we might have done better with regular bar barbecue sauce, but that's the only gripe I got about it, and it's pretty minor. So I'll still give that a five for sure. Five out of five. Jump on there, first bite of pastrami. So let's see, you guys see my first bite. Let's see how this pastrami goes here. Let's see. Woo! Take a look. Uh, Take, oh! Man, that's Did falling out right there. That's how you know it's good. I lost a little bit. I lost a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what happens here. Mm. <laughs> what do you think, man? Out of five, if you had to call I like it. that, but I'll give it a four out of five. I like that flavor. Mm. The mustard helps give it a little extra flavor too. It's not super spicy or anything like that, guys. So, but it's a little messy. You go in hell, <laughs> so you're gonna truly have your hands full. But I give it a four out of five. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> So this is what they call their new pickle. It's supposed to be, um, I guess, more sour and crispier. So if you like the sour and crispy little pickles, this is for you. And, uh, hmm. Actually, it's not too bad. That's less pickly. It's like very pickly. It's less pickly. It's less pickly. But you know, it, it doesn't have that, that that briny sort of taste to it or anything like that. It tastes uh, it tastes like a cucumber that's just uh, been a little salted, I guess. I don't know. I know that's all that pickle really is, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. Ace is wilding out over here. So you know, if you it doesn't taste that sour, I guess it's a little more sour than your classic dill pickle. So if you're looking for a more airy, fresh sort of pickle there. And I can't believe that's the sentence that's coming out of my mouth now. An airy, fresh pickle? What is that? <laughs> Something you eat, apparently. Apparently! <laughs> this is the thing that's happening. Then you want to go with dill pickle. If you want a more classic dill style pickle, I don't think we need to explain what a classic dill pickle tastes like. Go into your fridge, go get your classic pickles. And that's what it is. Full dill pickle, I guess. Alright, spinach and shark. So that was, uh, that, so that was the whole deli. That was the whole deli experience. Uh, Jake, what do you think? It was good. <laughs> All right, here we go. It was tasty. So I like my pastrami. Definitely. So the pastrami, brisket, good stuff over there. Um, I guess the only thing I'd really change, maybe just uh, fry the fry, fry the fries, fry the crisps a little less. Um, what is that British crisps? I think. Yeah. Chips? Yeah, chips, crisps, same thing. No, chips is fries. Fries is chips. Chips is fries. They call them gambling chips. Call them gambling chips. Whatever That's the important thing. So. It, Oh, that reminds me, I didn't get my gambling chip from here. I should probably do that before I leave. So I'll go get a couple dollar chips or something like that, and I'll go ahead and go cash them out, and that'll be fun. But, all right, but, yeah, on that bombshell, I'd say that we're doing pretty good. Mad shout-outs to Jacob Orth from Jacob Life from Vegas. If you haven't subscribed to him, be sure to go ahead and check him out in the description box below. And otherwise, we will catch you next time at Circa. So until next time, Smithers and Sharks, this is... I'm Jacob. And the Ace of Vegas. We're signing off, and we're wishing you strong hands. And, of course, happy spinning, you guys. See you guys. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Mad shoutouts to our buddy Jacob from Jacob's Life in Vegas. If you haven't already subscribed to him, go check out his channel in the link in the description box down below. Until next time though, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva